while India is set to head to the moon today. These live pictures show the rocket that carries the Chandrayaan-2. It's a lunar lander. It's due to blast off in a few minutes' time at 2.43 p.m. local time to be exact. We're getting these live images right now from the location there. That is, if everything goes according to plan, this is India's second attempt to launch the lunar probe after a technical glitch caused the mission to be aborted just one hour before launch last week. Chandrayaan-2 is India's most challenging mission so far, a highly complex undertaking. The spacecraft should reach its destination in the second week of August, when it enters an elliptical orbit of the Moon. Then, it will approach the lunar surface. When the landing robot Vikram separates from the craft, the most exciting phase begins. India's first soft landing on the Moon. The selected landing site is about 600 kilometers from the lunar South Pole, a region of craters on the dark side of the Moon. The blue markings here show frozen ice in craters, as spotted by satellites. Given the high plateau, the landing robot should touch down gently amid ancient rocks. After landing, Vikram will open its doors and release India's first lunar rover onto the surface. Small as a briefcase, it can travel up to 500 meters. With its onboard instruments, the rover will measure water-bearing minerals in the lunar rock, as well as the concentration of elements such as aluminum, silicon and titanium. Meanwhile, the landing robot will record moonquakes and explore so-called lunar plasma, a thin layer of electrically charged particles above the surface. Vikram and the rover will be able to collect data for a few Earth days. Then it will go dark for 14 days. That's when the temperature drops to 160 degrees below zero Celsius. The orbiter will spend a year gathering data about the Moon. The objective is to fill in the gaps from India's previous mission. It has eight measuring instruments on board. Their function is to investigate the Moon's thin atmosphere and show which minerals and chemical elements make up its surface. For the first time, a special radar will be used to determine the location and quantity of frozen water. India's mission is the first to bring this type of instrument to the Moon. As we wait for blast off, let's go to DW Sonia Falnikar live following the story for us in Delhi. Sonia, how confident are Indian scientists in today's launch? There's a very tight launch window that they have to meet. That's right, Brian. I mean, scientists today have a window um, of literally one minute uh, to carry out um, uh, this launch. That's a really tight window. So they have very little flexibility in terms of time. Uh, so the pressure is really on to get this right uh, this time. There can be no room for delay. So I think there are a lot of um, you know, tense and anxious moments um, going on right now at that space station on India's eastern coast. Okay, uh, Asanya, Mission Control tweeted earlier that the Chandrayaan-2 is ready to take a billion dreams to the moon. What does this launch mean for India's space program? Well, so this is really India's most complex space uh, mission to date. You know, the Chandrayaan-2 will attempt a soft landing on the kind of yet unexplored, uncharted South Pole region of the moon. This has never been done before. And if successful, India will really become only the fourth country in the world to carry this off after Russia and China. And of course, if this is successful, it will really propel India into rarefied company of, you know, space-faring nations like the US uh, and Russia. And of course, it will be a huge technological achievement for India's space agency and a big boost, of course, for India's growing space ambitions. Okay, we're getting live images. We just want to look at them for a second, Sonia. We just passed, it's a 28, 27. We're getting the countdown. Uh, now for the la launch of the Chandrayaan-2. 
to Lunar Probe. Um, we're going to follow uh, the countdown. This is so exciting. It means so much, not only, of course, everyone we've been looking at there live at Mission Control, uh, but for the entire nation, we'll be talking about that in a bit. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Plus five seconds. Okay, we have liftoff. Uh, we're hearing that from Mission Control in the background. How long um, till we know that everything's okay? Uh, Sonia, we're, we're, we're getting some cloud cover. We can't see exactly. It, we'll find out. Sonia, thanks so much uh, for being with us. We're getting these live images from Mission Control there. We'll find out more about this launch in just a bit. I'm Brian Thomas. Thanks so much for being here.